Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day I can see you. We are from Castle 2, Group 1 and my name is Nur Fatina Dirah Binti Ahmad Hi, my name is Nur Idina Binti Muhammad Shalwa and I am Kadisha Binti Muhammad Samri and lastly, I am Muhammad bin Muhammad Rizal. In this video, we'll be demonstrating one of the drama techniques that teachers can utilize in their teaching and learning process. This tech drama technique is called Cautious Alley. Alright, so for this video, we choose Year 5 as our students, and the main skill involved is speaking, and the complementary skill is listening. According to the SKP, the content standard that we choose for this activity is 2.1, which is communicate simple information intelligibly. Why? For the learning standard, we choose uh, 2.1.3, which is ask for, give and respond to simple advice. For the complementary skill, which is listening, the content standard fall under the 1.2 content standard, which is understand meaning in a variety of family contexts. Meanwhile, the learning standard fall under the 1.2.3 learning standard, which is understand with support longer simple narrative on a range of familiar topics. So in Cautious Alley, the teacher or you should pick three students from the classroom uh, to play the three main characters within this drama technique. One of them is the protagonist, secondly is the angel, and thirdly is the devil. So in this uh, position, the protagonist should be in between the lines of angels and also the devils. Um, it, you should have like a, maybe like three I mean, at minimum uh, from each side. And as the protagonist walk down the road, um, he or she will hear arguments from both sides separately. So from there, the protagonist should have a choice by the end of the alley as he or she walks down the alley. So let's hear more on the roles of the characters uh, from them. I am the protagonist, the student. I am in dilemma in deciding between two options of different decisions that may affect my life. Thus, I think I need some other opinion from other people whether to pursue my dilemma or just ignore the burning desire in me and choose the other option. I am the angel. My role is to persuade the student who is in the dilemma to pick the positive side of the situation given. I will try my best to convince the student in the dilemma to view the situation in the positive way so that by the end of the alley, he will choose my side. And yeah, I guess you have guessed my role, right? Based on my appearance. Yeah, I am the devil. My job is to convince the student to choose the opposite sides of the angels. I will make sure that he chooses my side as his final decision. Now that you understand the positions of the students, um, this will be the time where the teacher, first and foremost, will give a dilemma to, for the students or the protagonist to choose uh, between the two. And uh, the teacher should give some time for the students to discuss among themselves, particularly uh, the devils will discuss among the devils themselves and the angels will discuss among the angels themselves. So approximately the time of discussion will be one or two to two minutes. Okay, class, are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, so now your dilemma is you saw your friend getting bullied in the classroom by his peers. Should you or should you not report to the teachers nearby? So I'll give you some time to discuss about it. Maybe like it's one or two minutes okay for you guys? Okay, teacher. Sure, All right. Teacher. Okay, so uh, the time to discuss starts now. My dear friend, report it to the teachers. You know what? Doesn't that make you a hero then? Imagine the school, the teacher will praise you and they will give you the rewards, you know? And imagine how will your parents feel when they see you on the stage. They will be so proud of you knowing that their son is very brave, is very kind and responsible in the school. So report it. Of course, you have to report it. The teachers might pick you as the head of the school prefect after this. So make sure to report it, okay?
All right, look, I totally understand that witnessing the bullying incident wasn't easy for you. But before reporting it to the teachers, I think you should consider some of the potential consequences that you might face later on. Well, this is for your own safety. Because, you know, being labeled as um, a snitch is a real risk. And therefore, it is very, very important for you to prioritize your well-being in the situation. But, um, you know, by doing so, you can ensure that you are not putting yourself in a dangerous situation while you are trying to address this issue. My dear friend, again, I suggest you to report it, okay? Don't you want to make many friends in school? If you report the, the bully case, actually you are not saving only the victim, but you actually save other students too because they might get the same fate if you don't report it. So you have to report it. Then other students will believe in you and will, be, will feel very thankful for you, especially the victim. Don't you know that it is so good to make a lot of friends? You will find that school is very interesting because you have many friends or many people to share, to study, to talk with in school. So you will not feel stressed in school, you know. So you will look forward every day to go to school because you know that school, the school environment is safe and fine. So make sure to report it, my friend. Listen, I know it's tough seeing, seeing someone being bullied. But have you ever given it a thought that how reporting it might impact your relationship with your friends? Because, you know, sometimes when um, this case, this kind of case is being brought to light, the person being bullied himself is afraid to speak up for himself. Plus, um, you know, this kind of fear may lead to silence, making you stand out among your friends. Being the one who reported um, the incident might get you into the isolation of the group. So I think it's worth for you to consider the social dynamics at play and try to find a new, another way to address the issue so that it will not um, affect yourself and the, your connections with other people. You know what, my friends? If you don't report this, you will feel so guilty, you know, because imagine the victim become uh, something happened to him. He become trauma. He is uh, injured because of the bully. He can't go to school anymore. And worse, what if the victim being admitted into the hospital? Believe me, you will feel so, so, so guilty, you know. You will keep thinking, ah, oh, what if only I report this to the teacher the other day? You know, when you don't report it, the, you will put the blame, blame on yourself. So make sure that you report it because if something happened, then you will at least not feel responsible for it because you already report it. So your life will be at ease in school without any um, guilty feeling that you have, you know. So report it, my friend. Mate, here's a fact. Bully is... You know, bullying is a part of the school nature. And some of the bullies are, most of the case, some of the bullies are, have, the, have their history of being bullied. So, before reporting it, I think you should think whether intervening in the situation is truly necessary. Um, and do you think that um, by reporting it, you can eliminate this, you can erase the cycle? No, I don't think so because you will just perpetuate it. Plus, bullying has been um, the norms of the school for decades. And some even argue that it is a personal matter. So getting involved in this matter might not be worth but trouble. I think you should think of another way to help him. Or for the best, you better keep it to yourself. So that way, you won't get harmed. Right. 
So now, by the end of the alley, the protagonist or the person in the dilemma will have to gather all of the points from east sides of the angels and also east sides from the devils. And he, particularly, will have to make a concrete points and will have to pick only one side uh, after he has finished summarizing all the whole points. Hmm, both decisions have their own pros and cons. I will need to think about this rationally and fairly before I make a solid and concrete decision. Mm. Being honored as a hero, getting an award and getting appointed as to an important position in school is not bad. Bad? Risking my own safety for someone I barely know from school? Mm. Being the next target for the bullies is a, a risk that I should take into account. Plus, no one can guarantee that other people will do the same as I did and report it to the teacher. They will also get scared of being the next target of the bullies. Um, after listening uh, from both sides, in the aspect of friendship, I think it will also be a double-edged knife for me. As I will either get more friends or I will lo lose them all and get isolated. Um, as an optimistic person, I think I'm fine with my life right now. And I don't think risking my school life and get isolated is on my back bucket list. Hmm. On the other side, I will absolutely feel guilty if the bully person is uh, injured or hurt by the bullies. But I also do agree with the other opinion where I should prioritize myself and not be nosy with other other persons other people's business. Hmm. hmm. As the this side said that uh, bullying is the nature of school, then I think I am lucky enough to not get bullied by by other person. So I think uh, it is uh, important for me to keep my own uh, safety at peace and not get involved with the other person's business. Thus, I think I will choose devil's side. I think it is better to keep it to myself and ignore it if it is none of my business. Thus, I choose the devil's side. I think it is better to keep it to myself as it is none of my business. Right, now that's done. Uh, let's move on to why you should implement this kind of technique in your uh, English class, especially if you want to teach them drama. So first and foremost, Conscious Ali have this kind of um, clear reasoning and clarity to them. It allows students to have a clear uh, sentence structure of every of their main points, which includes like, you know, like main points, what details, and also examples. So with this kind of technique, it allows your students to have a more um, clear view of their own points as well. All right, so next, um, it will also unveil the character's motivations through a symbolic walk between conflicting perspectives. And uh, it also enriches uh, decision-making portrayals through immersive exploration of internal struggles, enhancing, to, uh, enhancing the storytelling experience. Another benefit of this activity is it can enhance active listening skills. As the activity requires the student to actively listening and caref carefully listening to the both sides point opinions and critically consider all the points, elaborations and consequences. However, teacher should be aware too that teacher might uh, face a few challenges while conducting this activity. It can be um, the students might not engage in the class uh, fully when conducting this activity due to several reasons. It can be because of the situation given doesn't interest them or the situation is too hard for them to think about. So, um, teacher play an important role here in you know choosing the suitable situation or best situation for before conducting this activity. So, I think that's all from us. We hope that you find this video useful in your classroom soon. So with that, bye-bye!